Hello everyone, um, back here with this hornbeam. Um, as you can see, oh, uh, the tree has grown well. And what has also happened is that the tree has decided it didn't like being bent over as much as I had done. Um, now that it's been released from its straight jacket, as it were, it has um, decided, right, well, um, I'm going to straighten back up, thank you very much. And this piece here was pretty much the apex, um, was directly over the root base. Um, so it hadn't set. So what I'm planning on doing now is to try and put another bend in slightly higher up the trunk using the same technique. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to just trim off some of these longer branches partly to get them out of the way, partly because I want the tree to back bird and uh, ramify a bit more. So let's turn over slightly. Let me get in and uh, we'll start trimming. Okay, so um, at the moment this particular branch is um, I'm just going to cut it back. I want to get some length on it, so I'm going to cut it back to a few buds there. Um, this is growing in a sort of weird downwards direction, so I'm going to cut that off there. And depending on what happens once we move the trunk, I may wire this up, I may leave it be for another year. Uh, this was going back into the front of the trunk and it is in fact in that odd little place just there. So I'm going to cut that right back hard. Gone. Move this one out of the way. Okay, so that brings us to this branch which has really got no ramification at all. Some interesting movement, um, but I'm going to cut that back there. And then, if we move the tree around, these were supposed to be back branches, but they're trying to grow towards the front. So, we'll cut that back to a bud facing towards the rear. Again, this is going downwards for some strange reason, but we'll cut that back quite hard. Leave this one a little longer. So it's just working my way around, cutting everything back. A lot of time working on the trunk on this tree rather than on getting ramifications so I'm going to try and do both this year. A vigorous at the top here so I'm going to cut it back quite hard. Okay so let's chop back quite fiercely now. Um, The tree won't respond badly for that. What I'm going to do now is try and prepare to get a bend in this trunk. I'd like that bend to be just above this one. So I have got myself an extra block of wood and I shall sit my contraption on just above and uh, hopefully get a bend roughly here to pull this whole thing over and give it more of a sweeping curve um, that's the plan so let me 
fix this to the pot and we'll be back. Okay, so I have my new contraption, or old contraption, um, back in place. I just can tighten up this wire a little more. Um, I don't think, because uh, of the new bend in the tree, that uh, the u bumps I've got will actually reach in this bottom section, but I don't think they're entirely needed. The tree's quite secure in its pot. This is quite secure. Uh, it's just sort of held in place by a loop of wire going round and underneath this mica training pot. So, uh, top bolt, moving like so. Backing plate. Uh, backing plate. And a couple of washers. And there we go. I'll just try this lower U bolt, but I'm fairly confident. Hmm, maybe. No, it's not going to come. Well, uh, maybe just about enough. If I don't put a washer on, I can just get that nut on. Okay. Well, that will help it all hold together. So that's good. Uh, not too usual bonsai tool but there you go just put a couple of turns on at the base there just to make sure the nuts on firmly um, isn't gonna come off I think that ought to do it. Okay, so now all I need to do is to gradually tighten this up and uh, hopefully that'll pull the tree into a nice bend. Uh, or linear bend. Now I had it on before for a couple of years so I'm going to do the same again so this will probably stay on until 2020. Gosh, Just saying things like that makes me feel old. 2020 was a lifetime away when I was growing up and now we're talking about it just being two years away. Just gradually tightening up each side a little at a time. And slowly but surely the tree will begin to move. This may look drastic, um, but if you watch the last video on this tree, you'll see that the tree didn't even um, so for a particular knee scarring, um, thanks to the inner tubes, bicycle inner tubes that I was using, and um, it seemed quite happy with the bend, although the bend didn't entirely hold. I'm hoping. Oh, we'll get a second bend now, and that will uh, give it a more pleasing aesthetic. I don't know as you can particularly see 
any movement yet, but this branch has moved perceptibly across. So we'll keep going, all the while listening out for a, a deep and disturbing crack. I don't want to push my luck too much. Once I've got it part way, I will in fact be leaving it and then giving the nuts maybe a, a turn every other day or so till I'm satisfied that I've got a, a reasonable band. This branch is going to scuff up on there if I'm not careful, but the tree will recover. confident the tree is quite healthy and uh, that's the main thing that will help it deal with the stresses and the strains that I'm putting on it just putting a few turns on these bottom ones just to make sure the tree, tree stays secure at the bottom isn't tugging outwards um, the principle of leverage, I guess. An engineer can explain it better than I, I'm sure. But that's really about it for this tree for today. Um, I'm going to continue tightening it up a little more. And maybe I'll come back for a final shot once we've done that. Okay, so as you can see, um, it's quite a bend. Put in just there. Um, I will put in a few turns every now and again until I can't put any more on. I think that's probably plenty for today. Uh, move up the trunk. It's now brought the apex more in line with the top. I may. Sorry, with the base of the trunk, not the top of the trunk. The apex is the top of the trunk. I may have to put a bend in here at some point, moving this across, but uh, I put a lot of strain on this tree for today. So we've cut it back quite severely. I might just slip a piece of wire on this branch um, just to bring it horizontal at the moment. We have the one going up and the one going down. So I'm going to move that leaf. That leaf just because they're kind of in the way. And I'm just going to wrap this very loosely. This is not fancy wiring by any stretch of the imagination. Um, come out of the way leaf. In fact any purists in wiring will probably want to look away. Uh, like I say, this is not it's not a how to wire video. I don't even know how to do anything video. This is just a look at what I'm doing video, and that's just a record of what I'm kind of doing this week with my trees. So that's just I'm just going to bring this one down and this one up. And that's it really. Um, the wire is very loose, it won't bite in in a hurry. And this tree is now going to be left to grow for a couple of years with the odd trimming every now and again. Uh, battery light's flashing at me, so I'm going to say thank you for watching and take care of yourselves.